and welcome to my creative space thank you so much for being here today i hope you will consider to join my creative squad and subscribe to my channel today's diy is going to be a very special one for me because this was a request from my very best friend she's like my sister and she stated she was looking for iWatch strap organizer and she couldn't find any that she liked so she asked me if i could come up with something and this is what i came up with and i hope she loves it as much as i do as you can see this not only could be a iWatch uh, strap organizer this could also be a jewelry organizer if you're interested in knowing how i created this then don't forget to subscribe give my video a thumbs up and let's get started okay i'm gonna start with my two by two this is my table don't judge it i know it's dirty so let me get started okay so i marked it at 15 inches that's how tall i want mine to be and with the base and stuff it's probably gonna be another whole inch tall so there's that so now i'm gonna grab my hand saw and i'm gonna cut this cut my piece off now i am going to cut another piece that is going to measure 10 inches and that is going to be my base my two pieces the idea is to sit this piece in the middle just like that all right let's move on all right for the wooden dowel i'm gonna cut the top part is gonna be 14 inches and then I'm going to cut two pieces that are going to be 7 inches each. And those will be the two pieces that go in the middle. Okay, I wanted to add a quick note regarding this dowel. Um, this dowel I started using, it didn't end up working out for me. I had to switch it for a smaller one that I actually already had on hand. And the reason for that is because my drill tips or bits or whatever they're called, I didn't have one big enough for this dowel that I specifically purchased to do this DIY. But sometimes they don't go the way that I want them to go and that's okay. I just have to adapt and figure something out and I did. The description box will have the measurements on that wooden dowel um but yeah let's move on time to cut my wooden dowel okay so i changed my mind and i end up cutting this one um into 16 inches because this one was too small and these two were sticking out more than that one and i wanted that one to be the longest and then kind of these one um a little bit smaller but yeah so 16 inches, 7 inches, 7 inches, 15 inches, and 10 inches. Cool. Okay, now I'm going to create a, um, or I guess mark where I want each piece to go. So for this one, I think that's good. So I'm going to create a circle. Now I'm going to take this drill and I'm going to hope that this is big enough for creating my holes so I'm gonna start with this and I don't think it's big enough <laughs> All right, so I still create the holes on this piece because at this point I had already decided I was gonna use the dowel that I had on hand. And here is the dowel that I continue to use and I just cut down the two 7 inch pieces in a 16 um, inch piece. Yay! So after I figure everything down, I am going to try all my pieces and make sure that they're going to be fine and that I can move on to the next step. And they do. They're perfect now. So now I'm going to take my two wooden uh, pieces and I'm going to send those down and I'm going to be using my electric sander for that. Now I'm going to take this wood stain and I'm going to stain my pieces and then I'm going to let them dry and then we'll move on to the next step.
Okay, so I have to confess that I had another fail with this one, which is why I have two dowels here and one of them is stained and the other one's not. The one that is not, I have to trim down because I made the mistake. But hey, I made the mistake so you don't have to do it. And when you go to do it, it's perfect for you. But anyway, so I end up grabbing this elastic band that I had on hand and I put it on this dowel and that is going to work as my guide. So when I go to mark the dots on where my hooks are going to be screwed, in um, they are all even and they're not all over the place okay so as i mentioned in the beginning of the video this is going to be a iWatch strap organizer and therefore i'm going to be creating spaces that are going to be an inch point two and after that i'm going to do half an inch and then i'm going to do another 1.2 and then half an inch and that half an inch is going to work um, as a space to separate each strap so they're not too close together but if you're going to be using this for your jewelry your necklaces then um you could do less um or i guess more close together than what i did but that is what i'm going to do because this one is going to be specifically for iWatch straps Okay, so as you can see here, there's a line right there. That is the middle of the dowel. This, that part is going to be sitting inside that piece of wood that is going to run in the middle. So make sure you have that marked so you don't create holes in there because there's no point. Okay, now that my dowel is marked, I am going to take my drill and I'm going to start drilling the holes in there. And this is going to help me be able to screw my hooks in there uh, a little more easy. And this is what it looks like once all the holes are created. Okay, I also went off camera and marked the other two pieces that measure 7 inches each. And now I'm going to take my hooks and I'm going to start screwing them. These measure 7 eighths. I got them from Walmart and I believe they were 3 to $4 and it comes with $40. Uh, but yeah, so all I'm going to do now is screw them in the holes. And here is my two 7 inch long pieces with all the hooks already screwed in there. And my next piece, my longest one, I only did it on one half because I still have to get it inside the piece of wood. And with the hooks, I wouldn't be able to get it in there. So yeah. Okay, now I'm taking my 10 inch piece of wood and I found the middle of it. And then I trace with pencil where my middle piece is going to be sitting. Okay, now I picked what is going to be the bottom of my organizer and then I started drilling some holes. These were little holes just to give me a jump start and when I go to nail it, uh, not struggle too much, but I just created a few holes and um, yeah. All right, for more stability, I moved down to the floor and I'm going to start uh, nailing my pieces together. And this is self explanatory so I'm gonna let it roll. And we're almost done. All is left is to put the wooden dowels in here. And for the top one, I just kind of screw it in there. And then I took my measuring tape and then I just make sure that they were even on each side. And now it's time to screw the uh, rest of the hooks in here. All is left to do is add some wood glue into the holes that I created and then I'm going to stick my dowels in there and then I'm just gonna let it dry and it will be ready to be used. Here is the end result. I hope you like it and I hope my best friend likes it because it's for her. But anyway, if you have any video suggestions, please leave them in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe, give my video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next DIY. Bye!